I have been with VW Mark from a pretty early age, yes, even kind of as a teenager. I was hanging around uh, buggy shops and things back in the, the late 60s, early 70s. And uh, from there I went on to, to have my first buggy, which was a Hustler buggy, back in about uh, the mid-1970s. Joined a club called the London Buggy Club, and together with the, the Birmingham Buggy Club we, we went to a lot of uh, shows, VW shows, buggy shows, uh, uh, right around the country. It was, a, it was a really good pioneering time for us to, uh, to kind of see what was out there. And there weren't so many restrictions on construction and use or even where you could drive. So we drove across beaches, everywhere from Wales to, to Cleveland, and um, it was just a really good fun time. 1976 was the great hot summer as well, so what a better time to, to own a beach buggy. I started uh, back in the 70s, I was actually the newsletter editor for the London Buggy Club and it kind of grew from there, a desire to actually do something a little bit more professional than that. When Volkswagen magazine was first launched by Link House back in about the 1980s, um, the editor was, was a guy called Keith Soon. Keith needed a technical writer to write mechanical features for the magazine and he knew what, that I knew what I was talking about so he commissioned me to do a few features for them. And from those few features it went, I mean the, the magazine was originally bi-monthly and very quickly it went monthly so I was then doing a feature and then two features every month and that would be everything from modifying suspensions, rebuilding brakes, doing body work on, on a Volkswagen Beetle, that kind of thing. And I did that for about 10 years and I always thought it would be really nice to compile those kind of, uh, the, that series of articles into some, some kind of book or compilation. And, and Volkswagen did do that from time to time with, it, with a series called Keeping Your Legend Alive. And that's still going to this day, I think. And this, this was published about nine years ago. It's uh, an attempt to, to actually get together all the information on how to modify a, a Volkswagen bus, suspension, brakes and chassis. Um, this, this edition covered just the, the T1, which is the split screen uh, bus, and the T2, which is the bay window bus. Um, but nowadays things have moved on. Obviously we're, we're right up to the, the T5 range of, of uh, front engine diesel powered Volkswagen uh, vans. So the, the new edition um, covers completely that range, so 50 years worth of Volkswagen buses. It's everything from how to lower buses, how to raise buses, how to repair the chassis a little bit, um, how to fit different wheels and tyres, and right through to things like hydraulics and, uh, and that kind of more sophisticated stuff today. So it's, it's quite a compilation, and um, I'm not quite sure when the, the, the revised edition comes out, but it's something to, to look forward to. There's also a lot of um, cutaway illustrations in there from, from Volkswagen themselves. So to anybody who doesn't quite understand how their bus is put together, mm. this will show you kind of under the skin of, of what the bus looks like. Mm. I mean, in the nine years that have passed since that book was published, quite a lot has changed really, hasn't it? it there is a need for, a, for a, an updated version, isn't there? I think there is, yes. I mean, the whole bus scene has grown exponentially. It, it's a vast, vast part of the, the Volkswagen scene now. And uh, obviously, people aren't all going to have split-screen buses from 50 years ago. I mean, they, the prices alone are going to prohibit people from doing that. So nowadays, a lot of people are onto kind of the, the more modern versions, the, the, the T3 and uh, the, the, the water-cooled models, the T4 and the T5. Um, so there's still a need to, for, for information for those uh, types of buses as well. I'm a Volkswagen Beetle. And whereas most uh, people, I suppose, um, got into to, to working with vehicles because they like the car, they like to modify the body in some way or paint it a certain way, because I was into dune buggies first, I got to work on the mechanics of a Beetle long before I owned a Beetle itself. So the chassis, obviously the floor plan, and the, uh, the, the brakes and the uh, suspension on the buggy were all similar between the buggy and the Beetle. 
And I always thought what, a, what, what it would be really good to have a book that covers nothing but modifying brake suspension and chassis. There have been a lot of books on rebuilding Volkswagen air-cooled engines, a lot of books on rebuilding the bodywork and that kind of thing, but nothing specifically devoted to the, the kind of underpinnings of, of, of a vehicle. So that's where this book started from. It was very much inspired by the articles I'd done for Volksworld magazine uh, back in the 80s. And um, it covers a wide range of things, everything from fitting disc brakes, lowering suspension, um, even chassis shortening for, for a beach buggy. And uh, it's a great reference guide for not only beetle owners, but buggy owners too. So um, again, it's a book I'm very proud of. It was produced about nine years ago again, I think something like that. So it was the second book I did uh, for Veloci. And um, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with it and long way at last. So you've been I think Veloci is a really good company purely because they do give you the opportunity to do some very different types of book. I know when I um, try to originally compile some of the Vox World articles into a book about modifying suspensions and that kind of thing, I'd approach some of the, the better known automotive publishers and some kind of rejected me out of hand, others kind of made me do trial chapters and all that kind of thing, but nothing really came of it to, to any great extent. And uh, as I say, uh, I kind of switched my emphasis then onto the buggy side and, um, and kind of approached uh, Veloci and said, I've got a great idea for a book, which, which actually they had encouraged to be quite fair. But uh, I thought, well, that's quite unusual to, to actually ask an author for a particular type of book. Um, so I put together a, a kind of an idea of what I thought would work for, for a dune buggy handbook. And um, the result is, of course, the one you see there, and uh, ten years on it's still in publication, so I think we got it pretty much right. Um, who knows what I'll be doing with Veloci in the future? <laughs>